Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week, we're following one of the greatest gatherings of target shooters in the world. This week we're at the mecca of rifle shooting, Bisley Camp. This incredible facility is hosting a competition that is oozing history. The final of Her Majesty the Queen's Prize is being contested this weekend. Over the last few weeks, just short of a thousand competitors from all over the world have been whittled down to the final Queen's 100. Today is the final day, it's Queen's final day. So people have gone through two stages to get to the Queen's final, which is a hundred people that have got through the two cuts and that'll be shot this afternoon at 900 and then 1,000 yards. The competition has been in existence since 1860, when there was a real need for the country to be able to shoot a rifle with a level of competence. The threat of invasion by Napoleon III was a very real one. We shot in those days on Wimbledon Common. Uh, the rifles were not as powerful then as they are now, and there came a time when they were too powerful for Wimbledon Common, and so the bullets would go outside of the danger area and therefore we had to move, and that was 1890 when we moved down here to, um, to Bisley Camp. The winner today will receive the National Rifles Association's gold medal, plus £250 from the Sovereign's Purse, a prize fund that has not, unfortunately, kept in line with inflation. Queen Victoria supported um, us very strongly right from the beginning. She came to Wimbledon in 1860 and she fired the first shot and I think we've still got the target um, that was used in our museum. She donated a prize of £250, which in um, 1860 was probably five to ten years' salary or, or pay for a person. So um, if, if you won it, you could actually set up a business uh, in your own right. The prize has never increased in value, but uh, it's the honour of winning it that is, that is so important. Safely away from Wimbledon Common, the competitors are preparing for competition. But first, this grazer needs to be moved on. She's blissfully unaware that 100 full bore rifles are pointing in her direction. Bisley and the National Rifle Association sometimes gets a hard time. It's exclusive, old boys together, but the NRA is determined to be accessible and ensure the survival of this noble sport. The NRA has enormous history. We have a greater heritage than any sport in the UK. We've been going longer than any sport in the UK. But whilst that's important, we're about the current and the future of sport, in, in sport shooting in the UK. Um, today we do a tremendous amount in terms of youth shooting, not as much as we will do in the future. We also help a tremendous amount with um, disabled shooting. Again, we're doing more. We support those disabled uh, soldiers coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq, uh, something we're very, very privileged and proud to do. Uh, today, we, we celebrate marksmanship among civilians in the UK, and it's, it's quite the best event we've had for many years. We're having some fearsome scores going on today. Incredibly, there are no telescopic sights here, and with calm weather, a big score is anticipated. The conditions are obviously helping the competitors, and there's an impressive crowd of supporters making it a great day out. One of the highlights will be the crowning of the winner, who is this year, John Warburton. He's a seasoned competitor who has been coming here since he was a boy. I've always thought that no matter how good you are at shooting, it is perfectly possible to have a, a, a very, very illustrious shooting career and never win the Queen's Prize. You, it needs to be your day, you need a little bit of luck somewhere uh, along the way to actually win it. And I've actually come second twice before, so I know what it's like to be almost there. Um, and my philosophy has always been, well, I'd prefer to be second than third. But it's, it's nice to actually sort of finally get over the hurdle and, uh, and come first. So what makes Bisley and the Queen's Prize so special? It's an important part of my life. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's a sport that many of us do. It's, it's, it's great fun to compete. It's nice to win, but we don't always win. And when we do, it's, it's great. But uh, it's all about, really, it's about friendships. It's about 
having a good time with your friends and um, you know it's, it's what you do in the summer. The celebrations are a spectacle with John held aloft. It's a long way to fall and he and his bearers need to stay steady as they have a long evening ahead. You know you're probably sort of uh, eight or ten feet up and if, <laughs> I always think if you fell you could hurt yourself but so far they've done a good job. They will be chaired around the camp visiting all the clubhouses on camp and being offered some kind of alcoholic refreshment and celebration. It's a great end to a fantastic display of marksmanship at the Queen's Shoot Bisley 2012. Now that was the real target shooting Olympics and now the shooting show news. This is the shooting show news. Air gunners will be seeing a whole new calibre as the Day State Wolverine 303 comes to the UK. The Wolverine is the result of six years development and saw its UK launch at an exclusive event at Greystoke Castle. Boasting muzzle energy upwards of 100 foot-pounds, it's air gunning as you've never seen it before. The Wolverine is set to retail for £1,400. Full review in the next issue of Air Gun Shooter, out 9th of August. The gun trade has pulled together in the wake of the cancelled CLA game fair, with mini fairs springing up around the country. A host of companies ran events over the weekend, including E.J. Churchill, who put on a multitude of clay shooting layouts, and York Guns, who set up a shooting simulator. Some companies also took their special CLA offers into their retail outlets or online. For more, check out hashtag CLABiz on Twitter and look out for the special feature in the next issue of Sporting Rifle. John Bidwell has won the British Grand Prix Fitask, scoring an impressive 189. Mark Windsor, George Digweed and Matt Hans were tied one behind on 188 to force a shoot-off where Windsor took gold, Digweed silver and Hans bronze. Also in clay shooting, Martin Myers won the British Open All-Round Trophy at Northampton Shooting Ground. He shot a very credible 98. Full reports in the September issue of Clay Shooting. Gamekeepers at an estate in the Scottish borders face a fight against gangs killing their roe deer. Lothian Estates reported finding the carcasses of a doe and two kids that had been attacked at the back legs, suggesting it was the work of a gang with two dogs. Professional stalker Brian Soar said the roe deer population in the area could have shrunk by as much as half as a result of the attacks. And finally, the House of Commons beat the House of Lords in the annual parliamentary clay shoot held at Pensport Shooting School. There was added pressure on the teams this year after last year's event ended in a draw, but the Commons team was dominant on the day, winning by 758 points to 717. Lord Craythorne was the overall high gun. That's the Shooting Show news. All you need to know about what goes bang and what falls over. Thanks for watching. We're out every Monday, 7.30pm UK time. This is The Shooting Show.